Oh, it's happening. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg causing problems for a bakery, and now a Staten Island uh, bureau president is speaking. Let's watch. Yes, I don't know if you have seen it. I'm going to play the video so you can see exactly what Whoopi Goldberg did. Whoopi Goldberg lied and claimed a bakery refused her order because of her political views with zero evidence. In reality, the bakery actually had an issue with their boiler. Whoopi tried to destroy this woman's life and her business. I don't know what exactly is wrong with this lady. Sometimes I'm speechless when issues like this are coming up. I put out a video a few hours ago partaking to Whoopi. It is important. I play this clip so you can see exactly what actually happened. What's happening? Uh, Whoopi Goldberg causing problems for a bakery and now a Staten Island uh, bureau president is speaking. Let's watch. And I, I think the bottom line here is after we're going to call up uh, Jill, who has had to endure something that she shouldn't have to endure. These people are up at 3 or 4 o'clock every morning. The sacrifices they've made, the holidays they've missed with their families. To make Staten Island better, they have sacrificed for 145 years. Rutherford B. Hayes was the president of the United States, for God's sakes. And they're still here, and they're still strong, and they're not going anywhere, despite what other people on television have to say. And frankly, the people who, who defamed Holtman, the Holtman family should apologize to the Holtman family for making stuff up to suit their needs. Not everybody wakes up every day and thinks about politics. A good business person doesn't care about anybody's politics. So with that, I'd like to call up Jill Holterman Bowers. Uh, she deserves 110 percent support. Jill, come on. It's a community that I have to tell you, I'm so overwhelmed by the support between finding out yesterday this even happened, getting phone calls, and then people coming in, people from all over just supporting us in every way. We had phone calls yesterday from Alabama. Guy says, I'm going to give you $50, send it to a school, send them donuts, send them cupcakes. The support has been so overwhelming, and I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive, and I wish my father was here today to see this. He would never believe it. My bakers come in 2 or 3 in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. And you know what? It took my whole family. It takes everybody, the community that comes every day to see us. We have this everyday conversation with everybody. How's the family? How's this? This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community, it's my fellow everything that come out and us giving back to the community that makes this go round. And if it wasn't for you and Staten Island to make this work, we still wouldn't be here today. So I know my brother, Billy, work hard. Joe, my baker in the back, is here six days a week. He gives his heart and soul to this place. And you know what? My father always said you do what you love. I'm telling you, this is my heart, and I thank you so much for everybody come out and support us with the Holtman family. It means no the world to me. It really does. Thank you so much. Oh, good. So oh, good. The goodness prevails. And just a little background for those who know, there was they had a boiler here. Again, it's been here 145 years. They had a boiler that was 60 or 70 years old. And the first week in November, guess what? It went on the fritz. They had to be replaced. And the the reputation of Holtemans is impeccable. So rather than commit to something they couldn't guarantee, they said, we can't do it. And the person who uh, besmirched and defamed them took that as an insult to, to her. Well, get over it. Uh, these, this family will be here for God willing another 145 years. And as Jill said, it's her family. It's the Staten Island community. It's the elected officials. And I hope if you're watching this across the country, go online and order something. And we'll yes, I've never seen a single time these people are turning on social media for good reasons. Always reasons like these. Whoopi Goldberg is actually struggling to destroy this woman's business. Just imagine that they refuse to attend to her because of her political beliefs. I don't get it. I don't understand. When it happens to conservatives, the view is always happy. Like they will report, they will say there's no issue. Just a small thing here, Whoopi Goldberg ran 
She did a segment. Take a look at this video. Place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? Yes. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> They said that their, their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff, but folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's, I, it's not, can't be because I'm a woman, but perhaps they did not like my politics. Yeah. But that's okay, because wow. you know what? Listen, this is my mother's celebration. Yeah. Pick these up and celebrate with me. Whatever your reason is, I would never let my politics be the reason I don't show up to see my family because they I'm won't always be there. I'm gonna disagree. Um, I, I completely understand her point because I, I really do feel that this um, candidate, uh, you know, President-elect Trump, is, is just a different type of candidate. Um, from the things he's said and the things he's done and the things he will do, it's more of a moral issue for me. Um, and I think it's more of a moral issue for other people. We're just, uh, you know, I, I would say it was different when, let's say, Bush got elected. Yes, watching Whoopi and uh, some hosts on this panel, you will realize their talking point pertaining to the elections totally insane. Whoopi Goober claiming, oh, she's just a working class. We all know how much Whoopi won. They don't consider that this was one of the factors people changed their minds decided to vote for Trump. Some continue to point fingers like Sonny Austin talking about sexism, racism. When I see this over and over happening in this panel, it clearly tells me they are out of touch. One of the reasons they have to replace them so they should be able to have balanced talking point. I thought Alisa would be one person on the view that would be making sense, but instead she turned to a Democrat. When you have one candidate who has been running for 12 years, yeah. who lies and changes things, I, I, I appreciate that people are having a hard time. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I work for a living. If I had all the money in the world, I would not be here. <laughs> okay? So I'm a working person. I knew a day like this is coming. I have seen videos upon videos after the elections. It has even reached a level. They are now saying, oh, you can go against your family member who voted for Trump. ABC, to maintain ratings, is now looking for a consecutive to replace some of these people. I have seen this over and over. A lot of articles surfacing pertaining to this. It is important we look into all this. I don't usually report videos coming from The View, but when I saw this... I have a question for Whoopi Goldberg, who said that she believes 50% of Trump supporters are deplorables. What percentage of Kamala Harris supporters and Democrats would you also loop in that category? Because when you say that Trump supporters, or you believe that 50% of Trump supporters are deplorables, I can tell you from experience, from being on the other side, that the only deplorable behavior that I have experienced has come from the Kamala Harris supporters. Well, I had always heard about the MAGA Republicans and how Republicans are racist, Republicans are not tolerant. Republicans are closed-minded. The only intolerance and the only racism I have ever felt as a black Trump supporter has come from Democrats. I like when people express themselves based on what they have said. This lady was a Democrat. I've seen her videos over and over going off on Kamala throughout the campaign and Whoopi said something that triggered her. I believe you heard that. What she is experiencing as a Republican is totally different. The notions like, oh, Republic, MAGA Republicans have this, that, is totally different from what she is saying. The impression they gave her, her brain was changed, but now she's a totally different person. I'm glad she sees the truth. I've never had the stomach for You mean like the money they paid the people to endorse Kamala Harris? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that pretty dishonest money that's right there. So Cardi wild. B, Beyonce. Did you know you that was even legal? Fools. Did you know that was even legal? I sh it shouldn't be legal. The, Vogue, the, uh, the View keeps yammering about how Elon Musk shouldn't be allowed. Or, like, you know, I saw a video yesterday about you. So what happened last night? There's no denying it is a weird 
time. But today is not the worst day since Trump was elected. That was yesterday. <laughs> Watching Donald Trump go even crazier than anybody even imagined he would. He's, he's running this country like it is a reality show. He's... Donald Trump made it clear during the campaign that he would turn the government into a personal autocracy. Paired around that. It's to make real change, but unite. Now yeah. it's time to unite everybody. I want you to know what would change after doing this. These people are getting out of hand. I don't care if they write that. I'm going to shake it off. Figure out a way to say thank you. No matter how you disagree with someone politically, you should never pray for this. Elected that guy. You mentioned that guy's name. He's such an absolute... Absolute prick. I can't stand him. Hey there. Hey, I'm guessing you're not doing great. It was a terrible night last. The rest of us be doing on day one. Right now. Well. <laughs> Bishop Vigano. He says that the.